Hello everyone, welcome to PyLearning. In this series of video tutorials, we are going to solve common coding interview questions. Now, this is the first video in the series. So, if you want me to solve any problem, make sure to comment those questions in the comment section below. That way, I can easily make a video on those questions and we can easily have a discussion. Today, we are going to discuss this question. How to find duplicate characters in a string? Now, this might sound an easy question to you. However, in interviews, what happens is you are under a lot of stress. And that's why in order to find out answers in the most efficient way is sometimes a bit difficult. So let's start with this small question. And with every video, we are going to challenge ourselves to solve even harder questions. So how to do this? Now, you can easily solve this question in any programming language of your choice. Python, Java, C, C++, whatever. And also in every language, you can write a simple code like this. You have an empty array called chars here. You have your string. I'm using hippopotamus. You loop, you loop over every element in your string. If the, stri if the element is not present in this array, you append it. Else, if you already found that element in the chars, that means it's a duplicate. So what you do, you just print that, okay, this is a duplicate. It's a very simple uh, code that does the job. However, this is not the objective of this video. In this video, I'm going to show you different ways of solving the same problem so that you get acquainted with the various aspects of Python and why Python is such a beautiful language. So in this video, we are going to use the collections library to solve this question. Let's get started. Let's remove this. Then I'm going to import the collections library. I can say from collections, import counter, cool. Here I can say, I can pass this string into the counter function. So I can say word length equal to counter and then pass in the word, right? Let's go ahead and see what the word length is. What is it returning? So now if I print word length, so here you see for every letter present in the word, we see how many times it is occurring. You see how useful this library is, this counter function. If you have never used this, it can really add a lot of value to your Python language learning, you know? So here you see that P has happened three times, O has happened two times. The rest of them have happened one, one time. So in order to solve this problem, what we can do? Let's remove this print statement. And I can say, the thing with counter is, you can treat this as a dictionary. So here I can say, for k comma v in word length dot items, if v greater than one, print, let's print this properly. I'm using an f string here. So I can say, k is happening v times right this is your f string this uh, is available from python 3.6 plus let's go ahead and run this so you see p is happening three times o is happening two times so not only we found out the duplicate characters in the string but we also found out how many times is that character appearing in the string so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial I know it was short, however, I'm sure it can give you a lot of knowledge about using libraries like collections in the Python programming language. If you want me to answer any other question, make sure to put them down in the comment section. I'll definitely come back to them and make a video on it. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.